Hey, it's Georgie Joe from Russell Never Sleeps Joe Toe. This is my second video of the day, my second CD review. Uh, this is a review on Bruce Springsteen's Wrecking Ball. Kind of late to the game. I uh, just picked this album up a couple weeks ago. Uh, kind of short with the Benjamins uh, when the album came out. So uh, I picked it up last week, and I tell you, this album uh, really it hits a home run for uh, Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band. Wrecking Ball. It's basically an album that centers upon what's going on in the country with the depression and what went down with uh, Wall Street and how they uh, ripped off the American people and how the, uh, the housing industry went belly up and how people are, are struggling to uh, survive in the, the, the recession right now. And the album leads off with uh, We Take Care of Our Own, kind of like a, an anthem for uh, the people that are been abandoned by uh, what's going on in the country and uh, you know how they're being helped out and the yeah, album just laced with other songs that deal with uh, the economy. Easy Money is how the people on Wall Street ripped off the, the common people that invested their money. Shackled and Drawn is about how people are you know are struggling to make it in the economy. Uh, Jack of All Trades is about a person that has lost his job and will do anything to you know, make ends meet for his family. It talks about that part part of the population, which is a lot of the population right now that are struggling to make it. Death to My Own Town is about how a lot of the industries have closed down due to the the recession. He just covers all the gamut of everything. This this depression talks about you know people struggling, basically uh, you know the fathers of all the families in the country trying to keep their families together and trying to, you know, make it and, you know, not uh, losing their house or, you know, being foreclosed on. And, you know, Wrecking Ball talks about uh, the destruction of uh, Giant Stadium. He talks about that because that hits home, hit home, hits home with him because he's from North Jersey up around there. And he did a lot of concerts there, so he has a lot of memories kind of reflecting on that. And uh, the bonus track, uh, American Land, kind of talks about how this country used to be. Everybody was coming here, land of opportunity, you know, like the Irish, the Italians, the, the Jewish people, all s sectors of religion coming here for religious freedom when this country was at its boom at the turn of the century and how everybody was going to make their fortune here. And it kind of like sums up how it was. And then... Uh, we take care of our own is taking is talking about how people are hanging on trying to to make it you know in the economy today so this album I'll tell you it's a really really good album I like it a lot better than uh, working on a dream I just think the album is a lot more balanced and it, like the lyrics are a lot more tighter and the, and the music is the music part of it is really good and it comes with this really cool uh, booklet talks about Gives you the lyrics about all the songs, and it's got some cool pictures in here. Just show you a couple of things right here. It's a cool picture of Bruce right there. And, uh, you know, like I said, another nice, cool picture of Bruce. And it has all the lyrics in there, so you can really follow along with the songs. And, you know, get a, a feeling of what he's talking about. And I tell you, this album's really... I, really, I like this album a whole lot, a real lot. I think it's uh, his best album since Magic. And a lot of people don't know about that album. I really like that album. That talked a lot about what was going on in the country at the time also. And uh, that kind of like got caught in the shuffle, well, got lost in the shuffle a little bit. But this album, I really like it a lot. And he's going to be touring. As we speak, he's touring now. And he's coming to Philly, Citizen Bank Park. And unfortunately, I can't go see the show because I just can't afford it. But if you can, I know he's going to be playing this album and a lot of his hits. And he does like a three and a half hour show. I've been going on my Facebook page because I subscribe to Bruce Springsteen's uh, Facebook page. And they give you concert reviews. And the other night he did a three and a half hour show. Unbelievable. So if you're looking for an, a really good album, which I probably a lot of people have already gotten this album because it's been out for a while. But I just want to give my two cents about it. I really like Bruce Springsteen. He's one of my favorite artists besides Neil Young and the Stones. And uh, this album's a really, really good album. And I've been listening to it a lot, especially when I've been doing stuff out in my backyard, cranking up the CD player. I'm old school. So take care. 
and uh, peace out.